Aww, animals. Tarantula photographed eating a snake for the first time in the wild. In October of 2015, a group of researchers walking around the grassy hills of Brazil stumbled upon an incredible sight, one they were surprised to witness up close. A huge tarantula feasting on the body of a ground snake. They photographed the spine-tingling spectacle and published a report of their findings in December. What happened leading up to the meal is unknown, but the team suspect the snake may have snuck into the area, coming across the cozy dark den with plans of calling it home. Little did the 15-inch snake realize the space already had a tenant. The tarantula was quick to give him notice. She would have sunk her almost inch-long fangs into the snake, the venom liquefying its insides. Once decomposed, the tarantula then enjoyed its meal, fueling our nightmares for years to come. The incident is believed to be the first known account of a tarantula eating a snake in the wild. The researchers report that previous incidents of tarantulas eating snakes have only been witnessed in controlled settings, where the snake would be introduced to the spider. Turns out, in the tarantula's lair, not only are small birds, rodents, and lizards on the menu, snakes are a delicacy too. Want to see more arachnids creeping around? Now you can. Deadly redback spider bites man down under. An Australian guy was somehow able to get himself to the hospital after getting bit on his Johnson by a venomous redback spider. Nature called on Wednesday morning as the 21-year-old construction worker in Sydney made his way to a porta potty. Unfortunately, while he was on the crapper, a redback spider decided to bite him right on his dick. The redback spider, closely related to the black widow spider, has a long red stripe on its abdomen. Its bite can cause severe pain, sweating, and nausea. But by the time paramedics arrived on scene, the man had already made it to the hospital on his own for treatment. He was later discharged from the hospital in stable condition. The redback spider could not be reached for comment. The Goliath bird eater spider is as big as a puppy. The Theraposa blondi, also known as the South American Goliath bird eater, is the largest spider in the world. When Harvard entomologist Dr. Peter Nesgrecki encountered this kind of giant spider last year, he gained headlines the world over. He wrote he could actually hear it walking. He wrote on his blog, every time I get too close to the bird eater, it would start rubbing its hind legs against the teary abdomen. A cloud of urticating hair hit my eyeballs and made me itch and cry for several days. Similar to nettles, its hairs have little spikes that cause irritation when potential predators come into contact with them. He also said the arachnid would rear its front legs and open its enormous fangs, capable of puncturing a mouse's skull. The third line of defense for the Goliath bird eater is a loud hissing sound made by rubbing together hairs on its legs. These adorable creatures can tip the scales at 170 grams. That's as much as a small puppy. And they're just as cute, don't you think? Woman finds giant spider in Woolworth's salad. Customers have been getting more than they bargained for from Woolworth's pre-packaged salad products. The grocery company just announced a recall on the greens due to a salmonella outbreak. And, needless to say, people are freaking out. Some are just curious as to what applies. Some are still being sarcastic. While others are outright pissed. And Zoe Perry beats them all. The lady posted a video on Wooly's Facebook of a little something extra that came with her salad. That's a spider. A huntsman spider to be exact. Still alive and kicking. It's, it's reanimated. Oh my god. These bad boys are named for their speed and, uh, well, hunting abilities. There are a number of species with the largest having about 250 to 300 millimeter leg spans. They're not really dangerous to humans, but let's be honest, they're pretty terrifying looking. And in true internet fashion, the comments have been rolling in. Some are praising Wooly's fresh food game ever so sarcastically, while others simply would apply fire to the greens. Perry's video has even inspired a few to share their horror stories, like when Tanya Smart found this moth in her salad. Others claim to have found wasps and even a dead mouse. This is all very similar to when one customer found a dead frog in his salad in 2014. Like the incident in 2014, Woolworths was very concerned. 
The company commented on Perry's video post asking her to reach out privately. Honestly though, if Woolies would just give away cuddly animals in their salad, people would just think of it as a prize. Oh, hi kitty. UK mom finds spider that causes four hour erections living in her bananas. This is the Brazilian wandering spider, the most poisonous spider in the world, and also the new resident of your Tesco bananas. A mother in the UK was about to give her six-year-old a snack when she spotted an enormous spider nest. She watched in horror as the cocoon started unfurling and was able to identify the deadly spider. And if she hadn't, well, a bite from the Brazilian wandering spider can cause painful erections that last up to four hours. Its poison also messes with your sensory nerves, resulting in acute pain and inflammation. And finally, a single bite can cause loss of muscle control, paralysis, and eventual asphyxiation. But this smart mama managed to avoid all those things by chucking the bananas in the freezer. Tesco's reported response to the whole thing was a little too mellow. Oh, you and your six-year-old nearly met a slow and painful death? Well, just take the bananas back to the store then.